Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another fun and exciting day of uh, arithmetic sequences or sequences in series from chapter 11 in our pre-calc book. We're going to do 11.2 which is arithmetic sequences. It's uh, pretty straightforward uh, in terms of how we go about figuring things out. The biggest thing is there's going to be three formulas that you're going to need to know and we'll circle those and highlight those as we go through. One for finding um, terms in the sequence and another two for finding the sum. So those are going to be very important. You're going to want to make sure that you're following along as we go through those. So <clears throat> let's take a look first at uh, just what an arithmetic sequence is. It's a sequence of the form a, a plus d, a plus 2d, a plus 3d, a plus 4d, and so on and so on. And the number a is the first term. It's also sometimes uh, written as a sub 1, just like it is there. And then d is a common difference, which means that's what you're adding by each time. If you were subtracting, d would be negative. So if you were saying uh, 3, 0, negative 3, negative 6, the common difference would be negative 3. And the nth term of the arithmetic sequence is given by this formula. And this formula, like I said, is very important. We need to make sure we know what's going on. There's four variables here. There's a sub n, which is the nth term. There's a sub 1, which is the first term. n, which is the number of terms that we have. And d, which is the common difference. So a sub n is the nth term a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. And again, common difference is going to be positive unless we were subtracting to find new terms. And so just to write that down again, it's a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So let's move on to a couple examples. There's three examples that I'll do and then we'll get into the second video which is doing sums. So example 1 says find the nth term of the arithmetic sequence 9, 4, negative 1, negative 6. So our first term is 9. Because it goes 9, 4, negative 1, negative 6 we know our common difference is negative 5 because a 9 plus negative 5 is 4. 4 plus negative 5 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 5 is negative 6. We also want to find the nth term. So we want to f say a sub n and we know a sub n is a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. There's our formula from above and then all I'm going to do is fill in what I know. a sub n equals 9 plus n minus 1 times negative 5. Now you may keep it this form. This tells us it's an arithmetic form. You may also uh, distribute and subtract and simplify. If we did that we'd have a sub n equals n plus negative 5n plus 5 or 14 minus 5n. That would be perfectly fine as well. It simplifies the problem up a little bit or the formula but it keeps it, um, it's, it's not as easy to tell that it's arithmetic. So there's two formulas there. Either one could be the answer. I'm not sure which one your book uses, but uh, either one is perfectly acceptable. Okay, let's look at example number two now. Find the 200th term of the arithmetic sequence 14, 8, and then it leaves us off as dot, dot, dot. Now what we want to do probably is just Give us a couple more terms. 14, 8. I subtract 6 there. So if I subtract 6 again, I'm going to get 2, negative 4, negative 10, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Again, we're subtracting. We know our first term is 14. We know our common difference is negative 6. And we know that I want to find the 200th term. So I have to find a sub 200. There's my four variables again. I'm going to plug it into a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d. It's good to write that down a couple times so you get it memorized. And so we're going to say a sub 200 equals 14 
plus 200 minus 1 times negative 5. I could plug that in all in my calculator or I could just you know figure it out by hand 14 plus 99 times negative 5 100 times negative 5 oh no 199 sorry uh, 200 times negative 5 is negative 1000 so this is going to be 14 minus uh, 995 if I uh, combine those I get negative 981 I think that's right so the 200th term in this sequence is negative 981 if I wanted to I could just go ahead and check that um, on my calculator and say 14 plus 99 times negative 5 negative 481 oh what's well, 199 sorry 14 plus 199 times negative 5 Got to type it in correctly. Negative 981 does work. So that's our uh, solution. All right. One last example, and then we'll go on to the next video. All right. This says the 11th term of an arithmetic sequence is 63, and the 15th term is 87. Find the 800th term. A lot of information here. So we know a sub 11 equals 63. We also know a sub 15 equals 87. Now if I plug that information in, I could use this a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. I don't know d, I don't know the first term, but I know n and a sub n. Here I have 63 equals a sub 1 plus 63 minus 1 times d. And then for this other one, a sub 15, right here, I know 87 equals a sub 1 plus 15 minus 1. I made a mistake. This is actually 11. Okay. And then that's D. So now, <clears throat> when I go and simplify this, the top equation becomes uh, 63 equals a sub 1 plus... 10d. The bottom equation becomes 87 equals a sub 1 plus 14d. I have a system of equations. Two equations, two variables. I'm going to make the top one negative and the a sub 1's are going to cancel out and that's going to give me uh, 424 equals 4d. So d must be 6. I can plug that back in and I can say 63 equals a sub 1 plus 10 times 6. 63 equals a sub 1 plus 60. a sub 1 must equal 3. So now I know a sub 1, I know d, I have to just find the 800th term. So a sub 1 is 3, we said that. d is 6, and I need to find a sub 800. So plug it in. A sub 800 is equal to 3 plus 800 minus 1 times 6. I'm just going to type that all in my calculator. 799 times 6, 4797. And so our 800th term is 4797. This is a very easy way to add up uh, different numbers or you know, figure out different terms in a sequence where we're just adding. And so uh, there's our first couple examples.